So we have seen what is uh, the basically curves, all these things in first unit. And number two, we have seen projection of points, lines, and planes. And third unit, we have completely talked about uh, projection of uh, solids. Right? That continuation and the unit number four, the first half we have something called sections of solids. Okay. So the name itself it says sections of a solid. First, we have to know why this is required. A solid is being sectioned. That means, say for example, uh, this is a cone, right? Normally, it is a cone with the top apex and the bottom bottom base. So we have known. I have already told these terminologies. What is apex? What is base? What is uh, mean slant edge, side, face, etc. Right? So in that, keep that in mind. With that, uh, now I have just cut this cone in a different. Uh, Say plane, I can say, right? I can cut in two methods, either in an inclined position. I'm I'm talking in normal sense, or I can cut in properly a uh, as exact horizontal straight line. Okay, that cutting is I'm calling as it is a plane. Cutting plane it is. So anything I use that is a, becomes a plane. We have we are what we are studying actually generally. We are studying about the vertical plane, horizontal plane. Two planes we have. The third one is also. This is also a plane, which will be either parallel or perpendicular to VP or HP, but it makes a cut in this solid. Clear? Now, uh, you know, imagining that this is a uh, solid, it's a cone body. Now, there is a cut is been made. Two types of cut is possible. One, I can make exactly horizontal, a parallel line, parallel to the base. The base will be a platform. This is a ground. With this, I can have a parallel cutting. That's called a. It's a, it's a parallel plane, cutting plane. I can have a plane inclined also. I can have a, have a plane perpendicular also. Whichever possible way that is, I can have it. In that context, now under the section of solids, we divide these cutting planes. Now, what is this? What it is? So these are called the. Cutting planes. This I call the cutting planes, right? A cutting plane for this section of solids can be. First thing is it can be perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. First option. And second one, it is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP, vice versa. And the third one, it could be perpendicular to both HP and VP. It cannot be parallel to both HP and VP. I'll tell you how it is. First, the basic thing is why do we require to study about the section of solids? Is one question. Say, for example, you have you consider any machine. I can tell you a very simple example. If you consider a washing machine in your house, household washing machine, the outer we have normal shape. It is. I'll just say it looks like a rectangle box, right? In the it, I'm talking about front view. The top view we can see. Maybe this is my front view. I can write a top view of. I have a one opening. That's for putting clothes. The another opening I can have for drying clothes. I'm just writing a rough sketch. The problem is inside the machine we have different number of components inside. There are different number of compartments or components inside which is kept inside the washing machine. So those things cannot be shown in a paper drawing in the sheet. Now ultimately we are drawing in a drawing sheet which is being sent to a particular I can say a production area. So well, then it comes out as a product. So to read that, what are all inside the uh, dimensions required? Where we need a thorough, you know, either a cut you record inside, or you need a hub inside, or you need a some other platform in different way. Where all these, you know, the screws, the nut, the bolt, wherever it is, it is going to sit on, or is good. There, there is a hub for that. All this, these can be indicated by showing. Some of these sections, that means the cutting areas. In meaning to say, if suppose in the washing machine you have a area like this, it's like a a separate cylinder type. So you you, you can uh, obviously see when you open a washing machine, you put the clothes. That area will be like a cylinder box. In that you are putting it. Fine, you put uh, the clothes. Then you supply water and you switch on the machine. It will run off. That is the idea. So in that, in the bottom of that, we have some a lid. In the lid, we have lot of small dotted 
you know, and the holes. That is for uh, you know uh, absorbing the water will be going draining out the remaining uh, unwanted waste or etc from the cloths will be settling there. Then we will clean it up. So apart from that, in the top you have maybe something uh, some other provision will be there. The provision is helpful for uh, you know pushing the clothes in every direction because it is whirling inside, no, it is rotating inside. So all these kind of things you cannot see in your naked eye when you just see a washing machine from the outer side. So these or these things are actually in the industries or whatever it is, they will be showing it in a drawing sheet by drawing it, and that will be hatched, hatched in the sense a portion which is cut. Okay, in the drawing sheet shows me that area is available and it is cut. That is the other portion, available portion will be shown in terms of hatching. This hatching shows is which portion I have cut and what is the area which I have used for. So when we go to the particular question and the problem, you will better understand. Okay, so that is it. So coming to this point, this is a cone. So and this cone, I just cut into this plane I said. Okay, the inclined plane. Now, what will happen? This shape, where is this top piece? I have cut it, so it is in the different shape. The top piece, really I can say, you can imagine how is a cone, a totally a top apex and a middle body, a circle in the bottom. If I cut it, either I can make it, suppose you take first case, I cut it a plane perpendicular, parallel to the base or uh, to the ground. What will happen? I will have the view, the top view has just a circle. A small circle, is it? Because you join a small and a big circle, it becomes a cone. That's it. With the top uh, apex, like this. You will have different uh, circles with different diameters in the cone. So when I cut it in an area exactly parallel to the base, it looks like a proper circle. When I make it, at, when my place, when I place my uh, cutting plane in an inclined uh, uh, surface, then I cut. What will happen now? This will have a different shape. It may this shape may be either like this, whatever it is, because it comes like this, like a cone. Right? I am just telling a rough uh, view about it. So this is the purpose of citing section of solids. So in this, we are going to study about how does we utilize this section of solids for any solid body, okay? By studying the application of a section plane or a cutting plane or section plane either in perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP first point second thing is second uh, application through using a cutting plane or a section plane by keeping it perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP then it is perpendicular to both HP and VP so this is the idea of uh, this the, uh, the three topics under cutting planes so any if you understand one topic the other one is vice versa just we are, uh, you know, we have seen from the basic, how do you keep, keep a, you know, a plane parallel or perpendicular to HP, VP, whatever it is. Just vice versa of this, the last one is both, uh, it is perpendicular to both HP and VP. So this is the idea. Now, say for example, I just take a square. Uh, the question reads like this. Instead of writing in the word, I am just telling orally. A square lamina, okay, is resting in the ground. Or a square a section of a solid is resting in the ground. And uh, it has got a height of, say, suppose side of 40 millimeter or 50 millimeter, whatever it is. In that, say, for example, if I have, if my front view is like this, okay, the actual square is in the bottom. Say, it is just a square prism, okay, and the top view will be like this. So, center of the axis will pass through this. Is it okay? So, I can have a here B, C and D, the four corners. And uh, I love marking of these points. So since it's a solid body, you will have your hidden points 1, say 2, say 3 and 4, bottom. And all these markings will be doing it. I can use my cutting plane, I said, either parallel to the surface, I mean XY line. Okay, you have VP and HP. Or inclined or perpendicular. This is how we are using these three categories. Now, what will happen finally now? If I use my cutting plane, suppose I use a cutting plane, it is called section plane. Okay, this will be just denoted in terms of this. 
and we have to indicate this section plane not by a straight line. We are indicating with the uh, not a full straight line with the dotted it means a line with a longer length. It is not a full straight line. It is like this. It is not equal to axis lines also. It is more than that, but it is not a full straight line like this shape. Okay, and we have to see that wherever we have an edge or corner, wherever it is, where the cutting plane touches the body, there we have to see that the line touches the particular part, so that we can project it down and show the shape, the cutting shape in the bottom, the original true shape of the body also. Okay. Now what I mean is, uh, now here if I use my, this is called my section plane, I read SP. My cutting plane is like this. The meaning is I have a square lamina, say for example, this square lamina is like this. Okay. So from your uh, front view is like this. Okay. Top view is a true shape. Now it has been cut by cutting plane. The remote portion is what? Again same it is a square. The remote shape will be drawn somewhere else as a square. How to draw this remote shape is from this XY fixed line what do we have to do? This XY line we can either draw it in top or bottom that is in the top view or front view that is not a consideration but we have to measure all the points of that cutting plane's value from XY line to the original true shape of the body. What I mean to say, this is the front view, this is the true shape of the body, say so a square prism, its projected view is this front view, right. So this, in this front view, we you, the cutting plane will always pass through, that will be showing it in the, this uh, projected view only. But when we show the cut portion separately in the diagram, these dimensions are measured from the XY line and to the particular, for example, what is this line actually? This is A and D. So this one will be your B and C. I am just writing orally, okay? And your point number 1 and 2 are on in the back side, which is, you cannot do, it's not visible. Now what will happen? Wherever you have the cut portion, that points are measured from this XY line. From there you measure either B or C or for keeping the, you know, uh, the uh, starting point here and either B or A or D, you measure it and draw the exact dimensions. So if we just go to one problem, you will understand what exactly a cutting plane or a section plane is.